Hey guys, I'm Eric Peterson and I'm a men's dating and relationship coach for skillofattraction.com and today's attraction tips video is called Be Careful of Beta Bait. Now we've talked a little bit about women's tests in my more recent video uh, called Women Will Always Test You, which I do highly recommend that you watch just so you have an idea of what to expect with these tests. And we're going to be talking a lot more about women's tests, what they call shit tests, uh, in future videos because it's really important to know how to sniff out these tests and be able to pass them in order to build and maintain attraction in a relationship. Obviously, passing tests aren't the only thing that you need, but knowing how to pass them will certainly help you immensely. Another thing you have to really watch out for is what is referred to as beta bait. Now beta bait is very similar to shit tests, but usually they're far more subtle and they're designed to, you know, chip away at the alpha. And this is how newer alphas or alphas that aren't quite at the top of their game yet, how they backslide back into beta, usually without even realizing it. And before you know it, your girl has broken up with you or maybe she's cheated on you and you're left wondering what the hell just happened what did I do wrong so in this attraction tips video I'm going to discuss what beta bait is and how to stop it in its tracks before it gets out of control but if you guys have any questions please feel free to send me an email all you have to do is head over to my website at skillofattraction.com click on the contact tab and shoot me a message from there all I ask is that you guys keep your messages and questions to me rather short and to the point. I know you want to include every little detail in there, but I really only need to know the important things in order for me to give you a clear response. But I will get back to you as soon as I can. I do have to take care of my paying clients first, but if you're just a little patient, I usually will respond to you within a few days. And if it's a good question, that I think will benefit benefit my viewers, I will answer your question in a video. But either way, you'll get either a video response or a written response. But if you need to get in touch with me right away and you want to dive a little deeper into your issue, what I recommend you do is again, head over to my website at skillofattraction.com, click on the coaching tab, and there you'll see I have several options for you to choose from. I offer emergency email coaching where I will respond to you within 24 to 48 hours, depending on which option you select. And I also offer a few uh, monthly coaching packages where I work with you throughout the month to try to get whatever relationship issue you're having turned around and get you back on track. Now, women's tests, they usually happen in the beginning stages or the, the early part of the courtship and sometimes sprinkled in throughout the relationship. And the thing about Tess, are it's a good sign that she has attraction for you, but she's just not quite sure. So she'll throw these tests at you to see what you're made of or to see if you're still the alpha that she fell for. If you pass those tests, she's in love with you and hot for you all over again. If you fail the test, she throws even more tests at you. Now, beta bait, on the other hand, is usually when she's losing attraction or has already lost attraction for you, or if you've already been subjected to the friend zone. It's her way to reaffirm your betaness, if you will, to herself. It's a trap, and if you don't catch it right away before it goes, goes on too long, your goose is cooked. So I'm going to share with you some of the most common beta bait so you know what to look for. And if you handle it right, you'll be able to reaffirm your alpha status until she tries to do it again, usually down the road when you start slipping up again. But basically, beta bait is her asking you to jump and her wanting, to, wanting, her, <laughs> wanting you to ask her how high. Okay, so one very common beta bait tactics is fishing for compliments. I mean... This is pretty obvious what it is, but it being beta bait is not so obvious. I mean, we all know girls love compliments, and there's nothing wrong with that as long as it's authentic and used sparingly. It's when you overdo it or do it in a way to appease her that it's seen as 
a weak man seeking her approval. Clearly, there will be times when she's actually needing a little reassurance from you, but mostly this is to sniff out your betaness. The beta in you would say whatever you must to make sure that you don't ups upset her, but the alpha in, you, alpha in you ignores this by playfully changing the subject, or you just give her a little swat on the butt and a quick peck on the lips and don't mention another word about it. Now another one is overt sex talk. Now most women won't overtly bring up sex talk or sexual things with other men because they don't want to be thought of as easy or a hoe. Women prefer to covertly bring up sexual topics and to be seduced by sexual innuendos. So when they do bring up overt sex topics, it's usually bait to bait because this isn't usually what they do. So she's either looking for the beta in you to begin panning like a dog so she could wrap you around her little finger, or for you to completely freeze up, showing her that sex talk makes you uncomfortable, confirming that you have no game whatsoever. However, the alpha in you is unfazed by this and responds with that cocky humor that just makes women melt. Now another one, is the bad boyfriend ploy. Now this is a real common one and it usually happens when you're already in a relationship, usually in long-term relationships. And this is when she informs you that you would be a better boyfriend if you did this, or you would be a better boyfriend if you did that. The truth is she doesn't think you're a bad boyfriend. She thinks you're a beta boyfriend and she wants to prove it. The beta in you would bend over backwards and change accordingly to appease her. But the alpha in you amusingly dismisses this, pulls away from her, or begins flirting with other girls right on the spot. And if you do that, just watch how quickly she will be bending over backwards to please you. Now another one is mysterious text. Now this isn't always in form of a text, but it usually is, and you'll see what I mean in just a minute. Because this is when women send you a text or maybe they post something on social media that makes absolutely no sense. Or maybe it's just a single emoji left open for interpretation. And it's really designed to confuse you and start asking her questions. Now as an example, say she sends you a sad face emoji completely out of the blue, like you weren't texting at all, you haven't heard from her for hours. She just sends you one single text of the sad face emoji. The beta in you wants to respond asking her, what's wrong sweetheart, do you wanna talk about it? But the alpha in you would respond with something equally confusing just to mess with her right back. Not in a mean way, just in a fun way to confuse her the same way she's trying to confuse you. So these are really some com common beta examples that women use to reaffirm your beta status. As I mentioned, they usually do this when they already believe that they're dealing with a beta. But don't be surprised if a girl tries this with you when everything's going right and you're doing everything right and you're acting like an alpha. They could just be doing it because they sense some beta behavior in you. Maybe you said something weak last week or maybe you're acting a little weak, so she's gonna take the, you know, take the ball and run with it and see what happens. But whatever you do, don't take it personal and don't get upset. You just wanna use it as an opportunity to reaffirm your alpha status with her and then just let it go. Don't bring it up ever again. So these are some tactics, some beta bait tactics. And if you guys have found this video helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and for you to share it with any of your friends and family. And I would also really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button down below and tick that little bell symbol next to it so you get real time notifications of when I upload new videos. And in the description down below, not only will I have a link to both my contact page and my coaching page, but I also have a link to PayPal if you deem this video worthy of a donation. So that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.